Yeah. You, you make the company work. <laughs> okay. Everything behind uh, you. <laughs> I would like to ask you uh, something about uh, your guitars. Yes. How important are the strings you use for your guitar to give you the sound you need? Yeah, the strings. That's always a question. <laughs> we talk a lot uh, in, the, <clears throat> in the workshop. I usually prefer uh, elixir strings when we uh, sell guitars to uh, to the shops mm -hmm. because uh, the elixirs are long lasting they have protection against uh, sweating uh, people are trying guitars then it's not, it a, it's not a matter of, of frequency and resonance of mm, your, of your, no, of your yeah but there are a few differences but uh, uh, it is uh, brand by brand, and uh, it, it, it varies by used materials. If you mm -hmm. use phosphor bronze or bronze or nickel wound strings, for me, uh, the best choice for tone I like uh, are bronze strings. Uh, no matter if they are coated or not coated, mm -hmm. but the bronze for me is more warmer. Warmer. It is uh, the tone is. Uh, that I like. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a regular guitar player because I I play with a band with a bluegrass band and play uh, resophonic guitars with a slide. Mm -hmm. And then I use phosphor bronze because the, that tone I like. Gives you the best tone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so uh, you build your own dobros as well? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you use the American cones or do you use uh, your own cone? I use American because uh, uh, I found uh, with a long experiences they are the best in the world. Mm -hmm. First, I. We're talking used, national uh, now? No, no. We used. I used uh, Quarterman resonators in the past. Then I tried Shearhorn resonators. They are. Uh, they are. Uh, now used on uh, nationals, mm -hmm. and finally I found for my ears best choice uh, the beard resonator that is called Legend. That is incredible cone, and that is for the sound I like. From mm -hmm. the this is a copper one, by the way. Uh, it is. What well, do you mean? Is it the, the, the end of cone is it the copper cone? It's uh, no, it's a aluminum. Aluminium, it's cast aluminium, and it varies from the rest with the thickness. It is a bit thinner. The sound is more warmer, mm -hmm. but still powerful in the bass uh, response. So it is sound I like. Mm. Yeah. So Do you uh, consider the, the the data, like say from Studied Virus, how he built his uh, his violins and the resonation of the wood? Do you consider that? Uh, a part of your building as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, but uh, I don't care about uh, what Stradivar uses because it's uh, there is a lot of fairy tales uh, about that. How mm -hmm. he myth? You think? Mm, I'm not sure, but uh, it is a lot of mystic that how he travels around, uh, chosen the wood in in the in the forest mm -hmm. and it is difficult to imagine those days uh, when people traveled on horses mm -hmm. <laughs> or uh, it took it took four, uh, 14 days then he went from his home to the forest where he purchased the wood so it is uh, i think it's more simple mm -hmm. they cut the trees those days, that areas, and he found the wood is very good. So he purchased few trees, and uh, for violins, few trees it means for a hundred years. So. And we are, we are now using wood, uh, especially spruce, from the same area. It is called Val di Fiemme. It is in Italy, in the northern part of Dolomites. Okay. And the wood is really, really good. And that is your personal preference as well? Yeah, yeah, I like it so much. Mm -hmm. It's light. It's extremely light, wide, mm -hmm. and stiff enough. And uh, the, so the density of the wood is better? I'm not you mean, sure. Is that what you mean by stiff? Uh, it is stiff, but it's not the, 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 
wood is dense too much. It's light, but mm. uh, the structure is the, the the wood has uh, close grains because uh, uh, it uh, the trees grows in the upper positions in the mountains mm. and the grains are very close. So mm. more gradual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. so that's the stiffness comes into the wood even mm. though it is very light, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, we also buy some wood from uh, Austria and I'm pretty sure that that company uh, brought that wood from Switzerland mm -hmm. that is also a very good option for me and sometimes we use uh, cedar, redwood or sitka spruce depends on the request of our customers but mm -hmm. I personally prefer the alpine spruce because mm -hmm. I like it so much Is uh, the Dobra an uh, original Hungarian uh, no, no, the, no. Dobro is originally the uh, builders, the, the brothers, the Dobro brothers. Yeah, they were Slovakia. Slovakia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They went uh, to United States in. That's why they made the fame. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, were the instruments already built before they went? No, they constructed in United States mm. in 1929. Mm. That was the first instrument made already in the United States. Mm. But they had those ideas uh, even before, but even uh, well, after they moved to the United States, they constructed the mm. first uh, cone uh, instrument equipped. And originally they, they used uh, those uh, guitars more or less for round neck. Yeah. And then uh, after they started if making... You see, if, you see, if you see, you see pictures of the first ones? Uh, it's, it's, it looks like a banjo. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't yeah. look like a guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a good luck. I held in my <laughs> hand uh, the seventh uh, guitar they ever made. Hmm? Yeah, it's, it was made and left then in Slovakia when they visited Slovakia after. So it's this instrument still exists. Mm -hmm. I have a picture of that and I played that. And it's uh, completely different than nowadays construction. Uh, is it originally lap playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not like the. No, no, no. That was that was lap playing, yeah. and it was. I think it was. One of the first for lap playing they constructed. Mm. It's amazing. It's the same with the guitar players in the States and in Hawaii, they played on the lap as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah it is. Mm. Okay, thank okay. you very much yeah, for yeah, your interview. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay.